Hey guys, my name is Alexander Lee. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to deploy your Node.js server on Vercel totally free. Okay, so a lot of people ask me, sir, like, you know, how we can deploy our Express server or Node server free on Vercel. All right. So in this video, I'm going to talk about that, how we, how we create Node.js server and how to deploy that as well. But before that, if I show you this, my project like zero degree coder dot in this project, uh, I build on like, you know, using the next yes, and it's a deploy on Vercel totally free and I'm not paying a single rupees for this. Okay. So you guys can see an example as well. All right. Now, uh, before that, I also written an article that how to create Node.js server and deploy on Vercel. Right. So first of all, what do you need uh, to deploy your Node.js server? You need a GitHub account. Okay, and Vercel account, it's totally free and we're gonna create a Node.js server quickly. All right, so I'm gonna open my, you know, folder and here I'm gonna, uh, you know, open my terminal or uh, let's do one thing. So I'm gonna make one folder, you know, make one folder. So I'm gonna click on new and new folder and I'm gonna name is Vercel app. Okay, so I just created one, you know, folder called Vercel app and inside this, I'm gonna, you know, create my server. So I'm gonna open this folder in the VS code okay now once you open this folder on a vs code what you have to do you have to open your terminal okay now you most of the guys you know like how to create node.js server but i'm gonna quickly create a one server so i'm gonna copy this command npm init minus y so if you see that first we have to create a directory which we have already done that after that we have to run npm init minus y okay so i'm gonna run this command once you run this npm init, you can see that a package.json file has been created and there is one main file that is called index.js. So I'm going to create one file index.js, index.js. Okay. Now, once you create the index.js file, you go have, you go back here and you have to install npm install express. So I'm going to install the express as well. Now it's going to install the express. Now let's go back to the browser again and we're going to copy this code, a boilerplate code. Okay, and after that, I'm gonna paste it here inside the index.js file. If I explain what is happening in this code, like, you know, first we are ex uh, requiring the express and after that we are initializing a app and we had created one route slash home. Okay, and also we had, uh, you know, we are running this server on the, you know, uh, port 80, uh, on port 4000. And if someone opens the, you know, on slash, so we're gonna uh, tell that, you know, if someone, you know, hit on the localhost 3000, a local host uh, 4000 slash so it's gonna be uh, like you know uh, welcome to uh, zero uh, degree zero degree coder okay you guys know about the node.js yes, most of the you guys know that's why you are looking for deployment now after that uh, we're gonna create one file that is called git ignore file as well so i'm gonna create one file dot git ignore okay and here i'm gonna write node modules node uh, modules okay so it's gonna be git ignore that file and after that once you're done with this you have to get one file that is called versal.json okay so let's copy the name and after that let's create one file versal.json after that you have to copy this whole code okay i just copy this and i have to paste it here okay now once you're done with this what you have to do next you have to push this code on the github okay so first of all i'm gonna open my uh, github so you have to open your git github if you don't have a github account so you guys can create it it's too easy and straightforward once you log into your github you have to click on new repository okay and i'm gonna uh, choose my own as myself and i'm gonna call versal app okay and it's gonna be a private uh, it's gonna be a public repository you guys can also clone this as well so i'm gonna create a repository quickly create repository by clicking on this after that uh, once you're done with that here, I mentioned that you have to first initialize the git. So I'm going to git initialize, git init. Okay. Now, once you git init, you can see that uh, git initialize empty git repository. After that, git add, copy this command and hit enter. Okay. And after that, git commit minus M. Okay. And hit enter. Okay. So it has been also commit. And after that, you have to copy this line of code, git remote add origin. Okay. And hit enter. Okay, after that, you're gonna have to copy this line of code and paste it here. So what is gonna do, it will paste the code on GitHub. Okay, so I'm gonna write git push, my bad. I'm up to write git push, not git push origin. So, you know, after copying this line, you have to write type git push. And after that, you will get this line of code, copy this and paste it enter. Okay. Now, after that, what is gonna happen if you reload this app, so you will get the, you know, code has been pushed here. All right. 
now once you're done with that what you have to do that is you know the next step that is called creating and deploying on versal but before deploying the on versal i'm going to explain the whole thing quickly because i explain this stuff very quickly man so i'm going to do that all this stuff again i explain this stuff all again so first of all what i had done i had created one directory name is a versal app okay i open this fo uh, folder on the, my vs code after that i just run this command npm init minus y this command npm init minus y it will create one package.json file as you can see that once we done with that we had created one file that is called index.js inside the index.js we had to just copy this line of code this whole line of code and after that we had just pasted here okay i also created another another route that is called app.get slash and i'm just sending that welcome to zero degree coder and if someone hits slash home it so it will now open this this one welcome your app is working well on home my bad i'm gonna write on home okay and we're gonna have app dot listen which is like you know listening the server okay now after once we're done with that we had created one new repository to github and after once we're done with the repository we had like uh okay before that also we had another created one file as well versal.json we had created versal.json file as well also we had created a git ignore file that we did not push the node modules on server okay or uh, not server or not on the github okay so to ignore the node modules file that's why we created a git ignore file and what's the json file is for configuration so here i'm going to tell you guys guys that if you're using index.js uh, as a root file or uh, root and the main file is index.js so you have to name index.js if a uh, root uh, if the you know uh, the main file is like app.js so you have to make it app.js all right now once we're done with that you have to create a new repository and after that you initialize the repository initialize the folder as git initialize git add git commit and you have to copy this line of code git remote one and after that you have to git push and it will the code will get pushed all right once you're done with this all this stuff now after this you have to search versal.com once you search versal.com if you have already account on versal you get login but let me log out from the versal so i have to click on log out and you went to this website like you know versal.com like this you complete platform for the web all right so if you are uh, new to the versal you can sign up on the versal and you can choose like hobby and you can choose the name and after that you can continue with the github all right so it has like you know very straightforward a uh, sign up stuff but i'm gonna do login because i have already account so i'm gonna click on login and i'm gonna log in with my github okay so it's gonna took some seconds to log in and once we log in with github so it will show this kind of stuff here we see the list of project whatever we had deploy on versal click on after that you have to click on add new click on add new project okay and you have to choose versal app so you can see like you know list of uh, repository or list of project whatever you guys has done so let's click on import okay and once you import the repository it will ask the uh, project name so if you want to like whatever the uh, you know uh, url you want to make so that's uh, gonna be associated with the project name so we're gonna name the versal app for now and let's suppose if you have any environment variable so if you guys have any environment variable you know so what which uh, what generally happen now we store our secrets in, into the dot env file all right so if you have if you have any dot env you know value so you, what you have to do you have to copy that all the variable and paste it here okay after that you have to click on deploy okay so once you click on deploy so it will start deploying your node.js server project so it's gonna took maybe two minutes or maybe three minutes so let's wait for that so first it will you know build build and after that it will assign the domains okay but before that uh while deploying is this uh, server on versal i'm going to talk about something else as well so in the index.js so we had created this server right but we had not tested locally it's working or not so test that what we have to do we have to type node and the file name in you know index.js okay now as you can see that we are getting a console of server running at 4000 so let's click on this url and let's check it out yeah welcome to zero degree code is working because we had passed the zero degree coder and let's try with the slash home so i'm gonna try slash home yeah it's also working perfect means our code is working perfectly all right now let's go back to the versal and you can see that 
once the project has been deployed it's so like this and after that click on continue to dashboard okay and once you click on continue dashboard here you can see our deployment here we can see the domains so you have to click on domains once you click on domains here we can see you know our server all right and here if you type slash home okay so it will working perfectly all right so this is how we can deploy our project on versus but before that i'm going to add one more thing so inside this package or json i just add a start command as well so it's totally up to you if you want to add let's suppose you know every time i have to run the server i have to type node index or js but i want to you know run this server with the start command so i'm going to run like this node uh, index all right and you can run this uh, now server like this npm start npm start all right and you can also use node mode if you want to use node mode so whatever you do changes so it will restart the server automatically okay so you guys can also use the node mode all right so this is how we can deploy your project on versus but let me summarize this stuff again so you guys can become easier for you guys as well so first of all we make the directory after that we run npm 8 minus y store creator uh, package or json file after that we install the express we had copied this line and created a index.js file and it will create a one express server after that we had created a dot git ignore file and inside that we had just typed node modulo to ignore the git uh, node modulus file okay after that we had created one slow json file and just copy this line of code and pasted that on versal json after that we had git init git add git commit and once we're done with that we had created a repository on github as well and we had copied the git remote code and pasted that after that we had run git push okay once we're done with that we had uh, you know sign up with versal and we had click on this add new project and after that we had just deployed this repository so i will also provide this you know article link this is written by myself so i will provide you this uh, as well guys and you can check it out and you can you know uh, uh yeah you can uh, comment on this as well so if you guys facing any issue regarding this just let me know in the comment section all right so we'll catch up again in the next video but yeah let me add one more thing so if you guys see my lms zero degree code dot in here i added some codes as well and all the things you know i'm using a versal completely for the deployment okay so you can use uh you know you don't have to think like should i use versal or not you can like you know this is on production and i'm using versal i'm not paying any rupees for this server as well all right so yeah that's all in this video guys thank you bye bye